Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send through the template ID. So this use case would be you click on the button and you want a document to generate straight away. You don't want to go through the hassle of selecting a template. So Salesforce has got an amazing help guide on this one, which I will link in the comments, but we'll go through it together. So just coming through here, it shows you that you need to enter the template ID into the URL. So I'll just go ahead and do that quickly. So the first things first is we need to get the actual template ID itself. So we'll come into our document templates. We'll open up our docgen example one. And in the URL here is our template ID. So I'll just copy that onto my clipboard. And then we're gonna go into setup and we're gonna go into object manager and find that button that we created on account. And let's have a look over here. And we call it generate document. All right, so we'll edit that. Okay, and I've just got it on my clipboard, so we'll just paste that in. And then it actually has uh, what you need to put in there. So we'll copy that first half in there and we'll paste that there and then make sure that our um, ID there is there. So we'll save that. And then looking at the next step, we need to then update our OmniScript. So coming into our OmniScript over here. Um, so pick template. So we don't want this field to, or the step to show if we're sending through the template ID. So coming back in, it tells you what you need to do. So um, go to edit show hard rules. And then it is um, only showed if the template ID is equal to nothing. So we'll do that. So we'll just deactivate this version. And our conditional view. So template ID. So this is this has to be exactly how we've got it in the button. Um, and so in this instance, it's a little T and capital I equal to nothing. So we'll save that. And then coming back in here, we've got a few extra steps. So it's got here. In the set value step, to pre-select the template for document generation, click on edit properties as JSON and replace the element value map node with this value here. So we'll do that slowly. So we've got set values. Scrolling all the way down to the bottom, we'll click on edit properties as JSON. And this is the element value map that they're referring to. So we'll come back and we're copying the entire thing there. And so up to there and paste. And then there's no save button. You can just click on close JSON editor. If you're unsure, you can click on it again and we can see that it's back in there. And I'm pretty sure that's it. So, um, oh, hang on, we've got this part here. Um, okay, so in the set generations options step, over here we want to add a new one so we'll click on add new element value and we can copy um, the values so select the template and use expression for value and we can copy and paste that in save that and that's literally all that you need to do. So activate the version and click done. Okay, so let's try that now. So we'll activate. And let's go and preview them. And it's not showing me my updated Omni script. So I'm just going to come back into the script itself. Um, I'm just going to create a new version. And I'm just going to confirm that we've got the pick template 
with the conditional view. Yep, that's right. Let's activate that. And let's try again. So I'll just refresh this. And let's try again. Okay, looks like that might be working now. So generation options is showing, which we didn't want it to do. So we'll go and have a look at that as well. I'm just going to show you in the um, URL here, we have got the template ID. So that's fine. So if we come back into our document generation, let's try and work out why that generation options is showing. So coming down, we have got a conditional view that says show element if uh, the show generations option does not equal to false. Um, so that's obviously not firing properly in this one. Um, I'm just going to create a new version and I don't think we even need that step anymore because we've got everything under the set generation options one there. So I'm just going to delete this entire step and activate that version. And now let's try again and I'll just refresh and let's try again. Um, inactive, let's check what I've done. Just deactivate and activate again. And that's looking much better already. And that's worked as we expected it to. So by clicking on the generate document button, we've got the template ID in the URL. It goes and collects the template. It doesn't show the generation options uh, menu. It doesn't show the select template step. Um, it just goes ahead and generates that straight away. So as I mentioned, the steps that you need to perform this are all in this help um, page here and I'll link that in the description.